Hey everybody, this is Scott with uh, Scott's House of HO Racing. I tried to go live twice tonight on YouTube, um, and then every success or uh, attempt after that um, has not uh, been any any more successful than the uh, previous two were. So I sincerely apologize. Uh, Steve with uh, Stockpile Hobbies had mentioned that uh, possibly uh, due to the servers uh, being overwhelmed. Uh, for this uh, time of the, the evening and then obviously because of the holidays and stuff like that. I can certainly understand that, but um, and then they prioritize who they're going to stream because it uh, uh, takes up a lot of bandwidth. Um, so uh, I can completely understand that, but uh, that didn't want to stop me from at least getting a video out there. Like I mentioned uh, that I was going to try to go live and go interactive with everybody one last time before Christmas so that I could uh, actually wish everybody uh, uh, happy and safe. Uh, Merry Christmas and uh, holiday season. If you are traveling, please be safe. Please plan like your car is going to break down and dress warm because I do know it is uh, freezing cold here in the state of Missouri. Um, I've just done nothing but watch the temperature drop, 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 drop. So, um, like I said, uh, this is Scott with uh, House of HO Racing. Uh, normally, I do this stuff live because I don't like to do all the editing and stuff. So, uh, long story short, this is probably going to be one of my worst videos, but it is raw. And uh, I just want to sh share my appreciation with all my uh, current subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you do currently stop in and watch the videos, please subscribe. You don't even have to hit the notification bell. Uh, it's just better if you do. Uh, that way you get notified of all the latest stuff coming into the, the house and uh, the newest, latest, greatest uh, slot car stuff and news that I've heard about that I can share with the community or tips and trips, tip tricks that maybe help you with your slot car journey if you're new back into the hobby. And uh, before we get started, uh, um, the, the last live stream I did was uh, um, the Adam Hurt edition. And I do want to start this one again with telling Adam, thank you again. And uh, there's the car that uh, Adam so graciously uh, gifted me for the holidays. And once again, to his wife and family, uh, thank you for the gift. I sincerely appreciate this. Um, this uh, um, John Whitmore, uh, F. Gardner. Uh, 1966 Le Mans yellow GT40 number eight was the last one that I needed to complete uh, the collection and Adam was gracious enough to totally blow my mind and uh, purchase this for me. So once again, Adam, I'm indebted to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And if you can't tell us, so, <laughs> I'm smiling behind the, <laughs> behind the car because I'm so happy. And I keep looking down because that way I can see what you guys are seeing while I'm recording. So I apologize. I don't have it set up right there even with live level so it just looks like i'm making straight eye contact the whole time so once again adam thank you again buddy i do appreciate it and like we discussed i've got a surprise waiting for you uh, next week when you show up for the pro tinkers uh, new year's eve bash um, i custom built a car today i'm not going to tell you what chassis i'm not going to tell you what the body is uh, you should have some idea that it's going to be a road race car and then after that you have no idea um, I didn't go max out on it because I don't think that uh, uh, Brian's track, uh, he likes running it with the voltage that would be required for uh, certain modifications on certain cars. Uh, so I made it to what I thought would be comparable to a, a box stock uh, Mega G Plus or maybe just a little bit better <laughs> so that uh, um, it uh, will be a, a good competitive racer for you. So I look forward to that and uh, hope you enjoy that car. And I look forward to seeing it going around the track so someone gets to enjoy some racing. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I am off next week uh, for, uh, due to the, the holidays. Uh, so I am going to be setting up a temporary track. And then uh, I don't know if I'll film it or uh, I'll just uh, do a live stream, which, like I mentioned earlier, is easier for me. Uh, but either way, uh, there's actually going to be some racing on Scott's House of HO Racing. And uh, I've dug out some cars. Obviously, I dug out all the materials to build a car. Uh, it's either going to be on a Super G Plus chassis, a Mega G Plus chassis, or a Tyco 440X2 chassis. So there's the three chassis choices that you're going to see. And then uh, I've included a list of the modifications to the car in the description uh, with the box that when, it, when I send out the car. And that is hitting the mail tomorrow, so they should have it in plenty of time if the Postal Service doesn't lose it <laughs> before the uh, race on New Year's Eve. So... Uh, look, everyone be sure and stop in and check out uh, Adam's new car because I told him I didn't want to, him to open it until he got there and he could do it while they, they had the live stream so everyone could see the, 
the car that I gave him to race with that uh, came straight from Scott's little grubby hands and uh, working on. So um, I, I know that I had intended this to be a live feed, but I am going to answer a few questions that people have reached out to me for that I told them that I would answer in the live stream uh, besides in the email, uh, just so that uh, um, people would have uh, um, uh, everybody would have uh, access to the answers to those questions. So the first question I got uh, from a couple of new people that are new are coming back into the hobby, uh, they wanted to know if all slot cars or older slot cars specifically could be rebuilt or once they were broken, they were trash and you had to buy a new one and then just worry about putting bodies on new cars. I don't know, like I mentioned, who told them that, um, but obviously we, um, those of us that are in the hobby know that's some bad information. You can rebuild, generally speaking, most every slot car out there, um, except for the exception being the new Mega G Plus chassis, and that is because they have a can motor, and they have not made replacements for those can motors at this time. So um, if it's a Tyco 440 chassis, you can rebuild it. If it's a Tyco Pro, you can get one of their uh, new old stock uh um, can motors that they call an open can, where the Mega G Plus is what they call a closed can. So um, Super G Pluses, Magna Traction, all of your auto worlds can obviously be rebuilt. Um, so like I mentioned to both of those people that reached out to me, um, as long as the chassis not cracked in anywhere, like where the uh, wheels clip in, uh, especially the drive wheels, not necessarily the front wheels, but uh, especially the rear drive wheels and the motor um, chassis is, is held in uh, securely, uh, then it can be rebuilt, bottom line. And that's the beauty of this. And then uh, there are several shops that uh, you can uh, purchase parts for that uh, you are able to rebuild those cars with. And uh, I've listed some of those, like Pro Tinker Toys, as an example, um, in the description below. And so you can go to their website and search for parts for your specific car. And basically that's half the fun is what I see is uh, rebuilding the car. You've done it yourself and it doesn't take that much time. And then within 10 or 15 minutes, if you're doing it, you know, a little quickie job, uh, you've got it out there on the track and you're enjoying it again. Um, and that's the beauty of it. These cars are just like little puzzles. And as, as long as you know where the puzzle pieces go, um, you can almost put them together in your sleep. Uh, if you do it enough times, you'll be just like pop, 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 boom, done. Uh, and that's from like a bare chassis all the way to a completely running chassis in less than five minutes. Uh, so uh, depending on the car, obviously and then tweaking it and tune, tune it from there. So those are some great questions. And if you are a new viewer to the channel and uh, you're just now stopping by and you do have questions, please put them in the comments below. I do interact with everybody that comes to the channel. I answer all questions and comments. I appreciate that. I love the interaction. That's why I do this. I'm not getting paid by uh, YouTube for any of this. Um, I do this because I love the hobby and I try to support it like uh, all the other people that are subscribed to my channel support me. So it's kind of, like I said, a symbiotic relationship. We all help each other and we all win. The second thing that uh, um, I was asked is uh, um, I always refer to my Tycho Bible in uh, my Evil Bay videos. And I had a couple people reach out to me and uh, wanting to know um, where exactly I got my, uh, my Tycho uh, Bible from. And this is the one that I use right here. Someone had reached out to me and showed me a new picture of what was uh, listed as a new updated version. Um, but it's not by the same publishers. The one that I use is the official guide that was uh, compiled by Dan Espinito, SPDO, I'm sorry, and by uh, Book Dan Publishing out of Elmsford, New York. Um, this is the one that has Bob Beers. This is the one that has uh, um, the Tyco, all the experts in it. And these are the ones that, uh, uh, this is the one that has the most accurate uh, information. So collectors go off of this published book and the older versions of this specific specific series. As you can see, this is the uh, third edition of this book. And uh, every so often I see this specific issue pop up on eBay and uh, it's like $29 and then they try to get, you know, 15 or $20 or more shipping on it. Um, I will say if you're a collector, um, this is a, a must have. So even, um, if you do have to pay that premium price for it, the money that you would save or help you to uh, look for completing collections that you're looking to, to try to get uh, in your own collection, uh, this book would be invaluable for. So it would pay for itself and just the uh, amount of use that you would get out of it being able to research. Uh, many of you have mentioned uh, how I get my, uh, whenever I do the slot car uh, 
grading scale. Um, basically, this is uh, uh, coming from several people that are collectors. And then uh, this is the version that I have that, uh, um, there we go, availability there, yeah. So availability rating, and then the, the condition and grading scale. And uh, this is, these are the ones, this is how I rate all of my cars whenever I'm selling them on uh, Evil Bay or uh, to individuals. And then uh, if I don't know any information about them, then uh, obviously I, I tell people because I'd rather get accurate information out there than the wrong information. So this is what I do and this, and I use that in conjunction with the book. And then that's how I arrive at the pricing based on, you know, market value. Um, you know, obviously the rarer the car is, uh, the more expensive it's going to be just simple math. So anyway, uh, someone had asked me um, if the, that newest edition that they're claiming is like in black and white or something like that is the newest edition. No, this is the official edition. To my knowledge, this is the latest edition. And to my knowledge, they haven't come out with the fourth yet. Um, that doesn't mean anything. But um, as I'm filming this, another person I want to mention is uh, Dan with uh, Slot Valley Racing. Uh, Dan is uh, like my brother from another mother. Uh, we have uh, uh, become good buddies uh, because of this uh, slot, slot car hobby, and uh, that's why we're so enthusiastic about it. That's why we try to uh, get everybody involved with it. Um, as I'm filming this tonight, he's going to try to go live uh, with his Q&A and a Christmas sale, and uh, so hopefully he has better luck than I do. Uh, and uh, if you're going to catch this video um, after the fact, you need to go and check out Dan's live feed and uh, check out the cars and stuff that he's trying to sell so that he can upgrade the stuff around his track and uh, get some stuff there. So uh, Dan at Slot Valley Racing, thank you, buddy. I appreciate all your help and support. Steve at Stockpile Hobbies, you're another one that I interact with a lot. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, I've got friends, like I said, everywhere, but I'm just bringing out the ones that I communicate with a lot. Uh, besides Adam, he just doesn't have a YouTube channel or I promote his channel. Um, so Dan was Slot Valley Racing, Steve was Stockpile Hobbies, and then uh, lo and behold, obviously we have uh, the Pro Tinker Toys crew, uh, Ryan, Brian, and Tim when he was there. Um, thank you guys for all of your support and mentioning me and my channel and trying to help me get to certain milestones. I certainly appreciate that. So those are just a few of the many, uh, like Gale Force Raceway. Uh, they you, you used to be called, they used to be, he used to be named, uh, they call me the mayor and now he's got a great channel. He's got stuff coming up. Chris Bayless, he's got a great channel with stuff coming up. Um, HO sliders and slot cars. I believe that is exactly how that goes. Um, if it's not, I apologize. He's got a great one. Mark slot car garage, uh, uh, 164 HO. I mean, there's just so many and I've got them all listed and I'm going to have them all listed down below. So all you have to do is hit the link and it's going to take you right to their page. And if you haven't visited some of those pages, be sure and check them out because uh, they have a, all of them have some worthwhile uh, HO slot car content. So just to be, briefly recap, uh, this is the first ever uh, Christmas uh, supposed to be live edition Q&A with Scott's House of HO Racing. Uh, due to technical difficulties with YouTube, that didn't happen tonight. But I still wanted to get out the thank you to Adam Hurt once again for the slot car gift to help me complete my collection. Thank you again, sir, and your family. I appreciate this. Hope you all have a uh, safe holiday. Dan, Steve, Ryan, Brian, Tim at uh, PTT, everybody else, Chris, uh, everybody that I, I, I haven't mentioned, that don't take it personally. It's just that uh, I was not planning on doing a quick video. I was planning on going live and interacting with everybody. So without further ado, um, I'm going to wrap this up so I can be try to be on with uh, Dan's live video. So hopefully he has better luck than I do. So if you are catching this video, hopefully you get to interact with me over there. And I will try to get another video up uh, sometime next week of the new temporary track. And hopefully I'll get a buddy to come over here and we'll do some racing and uh, have a little two lane racing uh, old uh, old school style. <laughs> so uh, once again, thank you to everybody that has subscribed. Thank you to everyone that even if you haven't subscribed, if you do stop by and check out the videos, I appreciate it. Um, like I said, I've had over 20,000 views on my videos this year alone, and I wouldn't have expected 20 people to watch what I had to say or to join in on my channel. So thank you to my 400 plus subscribers. I sincerely appreciate each and every single one of you. And I do want from the bottom of my heart want to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 
Everybody get out there, light some sparks and melt some plastic. We'll talk soon. Take care, everybody. Stay warm. Bye-bye. <laughs>